Hello there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh and I'm going to start to highlight some people that are doing extremely well. Whether they're doing the options or the day trades, it's traders that are subscribed to my services or have done the class. In the case of Galahad, he's done both. He's done the class and he's on the options letter too and he is a perfect example of someone that has been working so hard to be successful and is finally, finally this year 2019 where he is on the right track and you know i said everybody your learning curve depends on you i can help you i can teach you the system i can spend time talking to you you can be in the training room you can be in the newsletter but everybody comes from a different place and i think if you come from a place where you've been trading in the past and you've been learning stuff that doesn't work it may hurt your learning curve with me you may have to unlearn things that you knew in the past okay uh, and then you say, well, well, if you're new, it may take you longer to pick it up. Not necessarily. Sometimes new people pick things up right away. Sometimes people that are doing things for a long time have bad habits and they have to, they have to get rid of those bad habits. Okay. I say, put all the stuff you did in the past, put it in the past and start fresh and brand new today. No matter if you're brand new for real or if you trade in the past today, you need to look at it or whatever day you would do my class as the first brand new day of your trading life. And I've been telling Galahad this for a while, and I think he's finally, finally got it, where things are clicking for him and he's doing well. And this was one trade that he ended up holding longer, I think, than anybody. Um, so I wanted to go over it, because he did such a fantastic job with this trade. Uh, so he's getting a lot of credit for that. If you're interested in more information on my subscriptions, classes, or services, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So this is Galahad, uh, there he is, he's a gold star student. He actually come to New York and done a mentoring session with me a couple years ago. And here's the trade that he did. I mean, this Adobe was a nice call. Um, it closed here, gapped up, ran up here, this was earnings, gapped up again, and he actually ended up holding this for the second day, which was the bigger move. Uh, this was a profitable day, and I thought a great exit on this. I thought a very good exit on this. Um, but this actually had a dream target in it, which was 300, and it went past it, and he actually held it. He did a great job with this 100% in his own, I, mind you. He did this on his own, okay? So I saw this on the night before where, I, where the gap was at night, and so I sent the trade out at night. Again, you don't take it to the morning, but I called the 300 calls, that you would have taken the next day. I'll go back to the chart in a minute, expiring 621 for 300. But, but an option doesn't have to go through the strike to be profitable. So in this case here, again, called it at this night, you took it in the morning here, it ran up, this was profitable, even though it wasn't through the strike, but he held it through the strike, so it was even more profitable. And there you have it, very, very nice. So I always tell people and say no piggy targets, but sometimes, you know, stocks will go to some really big numbers in the trades that I call, whether the day trades or the options. And Galahad held the conviction. He stayed with the trade. He absolutely maximized his profit on this. I don't think he could have gotten a better exit on this. Again, it's, it's rare that you'll always get out at the high of something, but I literally do not think that he could have gotten a better exit on this trade. Um, again, this was an options trade. So he wrote everything that he did here um, he ended up doing out one extra week, looks like here. Really, he didn't need to do that, um, but he did. He just felt more comfortable giving another week, but he would have actually made more money if he had done the 21st expiration date that I called. Um, so, you know, anyways, he did a great job holding it. Initial purchase contract, six contracts, 90 cents. That was a great price still. He added four, added another four, so we had 14 total. It's a pretty big position, but they were so cheap. Again, you know, when you can get something for pennies, pennies on the dollar with a sense in it, especially in something like Adobe, and this stock can move. It can have big moves on the day as a day trade. It can have big moves on, on the period of a couple of days or even a week as an option trade or a swing trade. So anyways, then he sent me the message. He made 1413 to cover the premium. And then he closed, so he got out of half, made 1400, got out of the other half and made 3100. So his total profit was $4,516.48. Great trade, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous trade. And again, what he did was he held it the second day. 
this was profitable here, but he made more money by holding it. Okay, and you see here, that's how he ended up, it's gonna go back, that's how he ended up doubling then, doubling then his profits, because he booked half on the first day, and then he booked the remaining half on the second big, big day, which was still, still, you see, it, it doubled. So by holding it, he doubled this, the amount of the seven. So do you see what I mean? And so he actually, if he had held the whole thing, I'm looking at this here, he would have made six grand. Yeah. He would have made six grand if he had held the whole thing, um, which with his cost was originally 1071. Great trade. I mean, fabulous trade. He did this 100% on his own as far as his exits and then holding the trade and holding the conviction. Oh, here's his P&L. Here's what he did. You could see all the little contracts. Two, one, one, two, one the seven here and what he did with them. So, you know, very often when I'm looking at a gap, you know, I'm looking at it and I rate the gap in the morning and Galahad has done the class. So he gets up and I hope that he's rating them. He should be rating them in the morning, but he's definitely looking at what I'm looking at in the gap itself. In the case of Adobe here, it was a bullish gap. So I had called the calls. And again, you don't have to hold a trade and an option through the strike to be profitable. You do not. Uh, in this case here, it went through it, which made it even more profitable. So congratulations to Galahad. He's come a long, long, long way. And he had been trading, doing different things before he met up with me. And I was trying to get him off those things so hard to stop following some of the things he's been following that just haven't been working. And, and actually, he's taught me a lot about the fact that people are following all kinds of different things that really don't work, things that I never was exposed to, but I know don't work because of following Fibonacci's and, and different uh, indicators work then everybody would make money in the market and that's not true. So I think he's finally grasped this concept of gaps and really sticking with it and holding the conviction and doing it well. Again, it doesn't mean every trade is going to, is going to go to the piggy target or the dream target, but every once in a while, if you cover yourself like he did get out of half and held half, I think there's nothing wrong with that and you can get a secondary move into something to make it even a bigger move. So he trades from home, okay, this is what he does. And if you were thinking about doing that, again, you needed an account to trade, whether it's an options account or an active day trading account. You should definitely learn my system. It will help you even with the options. And again, everything we're doing is from gaps. You need a, an access to a live platform. You need an internet connection. And you could be anywhere in the world really in trade. So I say to people, follow the process using the golden gap checklist. Go through in the morning, check it, check it, check it, rate the gap, go through the 26 points, and that is how I'm making the calls in the room in the letter. If you're interested in the class, it's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a class I teach once a month. Class for July is July 13th and 14th, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $59.99 US dollars. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Class is online. Again, sign up really to secure your spot. If you are interested and you want to sign up or you have questions, email me. If you're interested in the options newsletter, okay, this is a specific letter that is once a year where I had this trade on for the Adobe. Uh, for the whole year, you get the subscription for five grand. The trades are emailed to you and you could get five trades on one day, no trades the next day. On average, I've called so far year to date about 145 this year. So for six months of the year, it's plenty of trades on here to make the letter very well worthwhile. And, um, you know, again, it depends your personality, what you're interested in focusing on. Some people want to focus on options. Some people want to do day trades. I say do both. That gets your most bang for your buck because you're making active money in and out quickly in the day trades. And then the options you can hold and get some of these bigger moves for a 24, 48 hour move or a couple of days. Anyways, if you're interested in this, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everybody. And uh, congratulations to Galahad. He's finally, finally getting to the place that he needs to be and making some huge progress. So congratulations to him and a great trade in Adobe and for having the conviction to hold it to get that secondary move. It really made it count. You can see that because it really doubled the profit in that half of the position, He, uh, which was only half, he made more on the total.